What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. As you guys can see we have made it back to Nottingham again. Just a warning to those people that watch regularly. It's kind of going to be to and fro from Melton to here. Next video you guys will see will be at Centre Park. It's, like, it's going to get a little bit confusing but just stick with me, it, it won't last very long. Anyway, as you guys can see, we have started the packing process for Centre Parts 2018. So we've got the essentials because if you are a YouTuber and there's water, GoPro is essential. A couple of gym shirts, a couple of sort of casual tops, a vest that's going to get added to because you know I love vests, lean active bag for the swim gear, and that's about it really, it only took about five minutes to pack, but right now we are actually heading back to Melton, see what I mean, getting confusing, we're going to train, we're going to do a couple more bits, and yeah, it's going to be a good video, drop it a like, sit back, relax, comment down below if you're new and subscribe, let's go. I know what you came here to do, now bust it open, let me see you good Hello. How was yesterday then? Yeah, great. Hi doggies! Good girls. Hi Jessie! Okay, so, made it back home, um, and you guys have already seen. We've had some lunch, didn't bother filming it. Uh, and I've got a package from my friends at Lean Active. I'm actually going to unbox it on my Instagram, so if you aren't following, links in the description box as always. But uh, for now, I am just going to spend the next few minutes doing this, and I'll show you the outtakes, it'll be quite funny. Good afternoon, Instagram, hope you're all doing good. Just wanted to say thank you to my friends at Lean Active for sending over this extra package. Click here for all their links and all that kind of stuff, and in the next snap, I will unbox, well actually I can just do it now. Well, that's it really. So, that was a lot easier and a lot quicker than I expected to be honest. Um, there was, it was like a flip open package which solved any issue and I was just like, okay, this is it, here it is. So, I am just going to train now, as I say that will be done intra workout so I'm not going to have it right now. And yeah, I'm really excited to try it because I love pink lemonade. So now I am freshly changed, see what I did there, I know right, pretty damn cool, the wonders of editing, people of YouTube, the wonders of editing. Anyway, I am about to mix up my pre, I think we have the Purple Gains flavour today. Do you like this t-shirt by the way? Do you guys like the colour? Kind of a stony blue? Let, let me know, let me know. Right, let's go play. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is something you guys have never seen. I've never, well not on this channel anyway, I've never done a front raise, which is the movement you've just seen, quite literally, a front raise, exactly what it says on the tin. You guys have never seen me do that before, because I have never done it before. My usual plan on a back emphasis day would be to do shoulder press second, but my training order has been completely out of whack this week uh, for many reasons, and so I only did shoulder press yesterday. I thought I may as well mix it up considering I did it yesterday. So I tried out a front raise, um, but, but I, I don't know, I don't know what I think of it. I don't know whether it's just just me or I, I just love shoulder press so much, but just don't feel it as good. I don't know. If you've ever done it, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Double entendre, double entendre. While you're waiting, I get money, then I double up time. Good? Heavy. Okay, so it's about halfway through the session now. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that in this session we'll be trying out the BCAAs Hydrate from Lean Active in the brand new pink lemonade flavour. And it says to have one serving of 450 millilitres of water and two scoops. Now I prefer a slightly more strong, potent taste when it comes to pre-workouts, BCAAs, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go with around about 400 and two scoops, just to make it a little bit more, a little bit more stronger. So. Right, here goes nothing. Scoop one, two scoop, cyclone mixer on top. Not quite sure what to expect to be honest, I'm excited though. Make sure that's on nice and tight. 
Right, let's go. Smells good. It's kind of... It's kind of... I'm trying to think what it tastes like. I mean, there's like a hint of lemon, because it's lemonade. I'm tasting. It, it tastes familiar, but I'm not sure what it is. Charlotte's the expert at this. Um, What's it taste like? To me, it tastes a bit like peach iced tea. Really? Mm. No idea what it tastes like. It tastes good either way, so I'm not complaining. Then you get all the obvious added benefits that you get from BCAA. So if you guys want to pick up some of your own pink lemonade, they've got kiwi passion fruit, uh, pineapple crunch, and a couple more, a couple more flavors as well. Protein, pre workout, all sorts, fat burners, everything you could possibly want. Lean Actives, links in the description box. Liam30, save yourself some dollar. Let's go. It's very easy to get wrong and very easy to well f sh up really. Let's let's be completely honest. If you go a little bit too far back, you can get straight. If you have too much weight, you can mess. You, 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 so many things can so easily go wrong with a chest fly. Uh, with a chest fly, it's well, it's, it's surprising really. Something you guys should look forward to. I love chest flies. In every single workout, there should be something that you are looking forward to. At the end of the day, we want to be in this for the long run. We want to enjoy this. This should be your favourite part of the day, something you look forward to, something you're happy to do, something that, well yeah, okay, every, everyone has those days where they're like, oh, I really can't be asked today, I really can't be asked for doing this, I can't be asked for doing that. But, if you have that one thing, you're like, oh yeah, but I get to do chest flies today. Or like, oh yeah, I get to do squats today. Or, you know, oh yeah. I guess do you know? I guess do burnouts or whatever it is that's your personal preference. Have something like that in every single session. For most, that's going to be a bench press. For me, it would be something like a shoulder press. I've switched it out today, yes, but I still have chest flies. I also mix it up. I mix up the rep ranges. I mix up the weight. I mix up absolutely everything to keep it interesting. If you do the same thing over and over and over again, week in, week out, you are going to enjoy it because if you want this to be sustainable, something that you enjoy, something that you do consistently, make a difference to your life overall it has to be fun it has to be something that you enjoy something you look forward to so if you are struggling guys if you think oh I hate chest it's a real weak point of mine then add in something that you like add in just that one exercise that you can look forward to that can give you a boost mid-workout power you through to the end something something that mentally is going to make a big difference to you have something that you can look forward to you'd be surprised how much difference it can make not only to you mentally but physically because you will consistently go to the gym because of this new tactic that you've implemented and then you will see the progress all of a sudden you're thinking better you're feeling better you're looking better you'll stroll around feeling a hell of a lot better about yourself, how you look, how you feel, everything will improve just because you have something that you enjoy. Right, I've rested long enough, just take that, take that away, keep it in there, lock it in there, let's go. Until next time, my love. <laughs> Jesse. How's it going then, Flick? How's it going? Flick's a little wimp. Kind of said in the last video, she's the scaredy cat of the two, Flick is. Um, it's been a bit windy. Well, it's been really windy. And so, little Flickster, you've been a bit scared, haven't you, Flicky? You seem all right now, though. Yeah. And there's Jesse the nutter. I'm trying to... There we go. <sighs> quick trip to... Well, I say a quick trip. We were in there quite a while. Um, to Asda. All we had to do really was just pick up some essentials. And the essentials included pizzas, sweets, and white monster. The rest of the packing must continue tonight, so let's head back to the flat and see you guys there.
Alrighty, wow, that's nice and yellow. Let's fix this. Okay, that is gonna round off today's video, guys. We have got back to the flat. The packing is pretty much done. We're even taking toilet roll. That's how serious this is. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do me a massive, massive favor. Drop it a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. Maybe even give it a share. Tag your mum, your dad, your sister, your dog. I don't care. Spread the word, because one day we are going to make this work. If you haven't seen that last video, go check it out. It'll be linked in the description box. I actually also went to a big effort to get this video scheduled for you guys. Uh, I'm editing it the night before Centre Park, scheduling it for a couple of days' time, so you guys don't have to miss out any content, because, you know, I got your back you guys got my back, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's how this relationship works. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment down below for me. That would be much appreciated, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video, which will be at Centre Park. So it's going to be a frigging good one. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.